God bless you, family. As you know, all month long, we have been highlighting uh, wonderful change agents in the city of Baltimore. And I'm grateful for the kind of church that wants to lift up and celebrate the prophets and freedom fighters that are oftentimes active beyond the four walls of our sanctuaries, but are definitely doing God's work in very powerful ways. This month, our dear brother, Jamie Wooten from Collectively is interviewing people as a part of this series and experience. And I know that you'll be blessed by this next interview coming up right now. Thank you, Pastor Brown, and good morning, Pleasant Hope family. Today in our community spotlight, we highlight the Nika Namdi of Fight Blight. Be more welcome, Nika. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So, Blight, what is Blight? And tell us what Fight Blight Be More is about. So, Blight is the presence of vacant, abandoned, dilapidated, underutilized, um, and misutilized properties in, com in community. And so, the, the first three are kind of self evident. The, the last two, um, underutilized and misutilized, probably need a little bit more definition. And so underutilized is, if you think about Baltimore City Schools, many of the schools, because of population loss, mm -hmm. don't have um, the full student body that the buildings can support. Mm -hmm. So that's underutilized, buildings that are just not being utilized to their full capacity. Um, and misutilized, if you think about um, the number of liquor stores mm -hmm. that we have in communities. So if you look at Pennsylvania Avenue, from Martin Luther King Boulevard to North Avenue, you'll notice that despite the fact that we really don't have a full service grocery store um, in that area, there's no less than five dry goods or liquor stores. So that's a misuse of those properties because they could be um, an insurance office, they could be a doctor's office, they could be a coffee shop, they could be providing other um, products and services to community that are needed, but instead they are repeat of something that we really don't need in the, in the community, which is more liquor stores, um, more you know corner stores that don't sell the variety of nutrient dense foods that we need. Yeah. So tell us, man. I recently had the opportunity and privilege to be with you on one of the hood hikes. Tell us about the hood hikes and again in the work of Fight Blight and, and taking this journey through community. So Fight Blight Be More is a social, environmental, and economic justice initiative aimed at remediating blight using data and the leadership of people and community. One of the things we see in Baltimore is there's a lot of community development, but that development centers around um, folks that don't live in our community, folks that are not connected to our community, folks that don't have institutions that are anchored uh, in our community. So we're um, also focused on doing so with community leadership but using the data, right? What does the data say? Because oftentimes we have wonderful community leadership. We have people who have brilliant minds but don't have access to the data or aren't able to contextualize the data um, in ways that don't pathologize black and brown people, um, that don't pathologize communities. So we're using the data also to kind of strengthen the arguments of, of folks in community. The hood hikes uh, were kind of this idea around us not, one, getting together and talking, mm -hmm. us not getting together and walking through the community. You can drive around Baltimore mm -hmm. and get an idea, but things feel differently on the ground, right? Mm -hmm. Th things feel differently when you're actually putting your feet to the pavement. Mm -hmm. And also to give us an opportunity to talk about what was going on, to point out um, the highway to nowhere, for instance, which is the failed um, I-70 spur, to point out what it actually did in Harlem Park. Mm -hmm. So when you see the number of vacant and abandoned properties there, you can, can kind of understand it's the ghost of federal highway policy. Mm -hmm. So hood hikes are aimed at really giving us an opportunity to one, do fitness together, like to be in, mm -hmm. in um, to be in community together with, with one another, but also to have conversations um, surrounding community development while we're doing that. Very great. Also, during the hood hike, we had the chance to stop at the Hack Hub. Well, tell us about your vision for the Hack Hub. So in doing this work, one of the things I realized, if you look around Baltimore, there's all this innovation, incubation and acceleration in terms of programs, low tech and high tech that give folks an opportunity to launch enterprises, right? But mm, almost none of them exist inside of what Dr. Lawrence Brown's called the Black Butterfly. So those are neighborhoods that have concentrations um, of Black residents. Most of those um, high-tech in incubation um, or acceleration services or spaces are located in the White Out, mm -hmm. right? And so we know that we have 
um, a long history of technical, scientific, agricultural, you know, name a kind of genius on earth. We have that history. It is in our blood, but we don't often have access to space to help support that. And so the Hack Hub is a youth focused, community based innovation space. Um, in Harlem Park and Upton is right really at the crossroads of those two neighborhoods because what we found in doing this research is that our folks don't have access to spaces or tools that enable us to imagine, that en enable us to innovate, that enable us to incubate. So those that like to get involved with the next hood hike or support Fight Blight in any way, Tell us how they can be involved. Sure. So our next hood hike is this November 15th um, at 11 a.m., leaving from 703 North Fremont Avenue. If anyone would like to join a hood hike, you can put hood hike in the search engine on um, Eventbrite. And if you just want more information about Fight Blight Be More, you can check us out at www.fightblightbemore.com. We are also on Facebook as Fight Blight Be More on Twitter as Fight Blight Be More, no E, and on Instagram at Project Flight the Bright. Thank you, dear sister, for your work and your commitment to Baltimore. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure, whole families, with another community spotlight, Pastor Brown. We'll see you next week.